one of the most impressive things that I saw was um, four networks with their ability to kind of simulate firewall changes in a network. That way you could get an in to end visibility and to see if there was anything else in the path that would actually be preventing that traffic from going through before going to your security teams and having them make a, a change. I think that was pretty cool. I was really impressed by just the the missed Juniper EX and 128 integrations. Just the pace of that innovation is beyond anything I've seen. Uh, and I'm really excited to see where they take the, the full platform. Most impressive thing I saw was iTential. Um, them being able to bring automation to an organization that may not have the technical capability to otherwise be able to implement automation on their own. Um, makes automation approachable and usable for the majority of organizations and not the the unicorns. For me, the most exciting thing um, was was uh, DriveNets. Um, the whole distributed networking kind of microservices architecture, um, being able to scale those services from a networking perspective throughout the network and just kind of go the next level um, and, and not take the traditional route from a networking perspective. Um, I've seen a lot of good use cases in my past where this is powerful. This is very beneficial. So that was very exciting to me um, to see what they were doing. Again, I had never heard, I, I'd have heard of them, but I've never looked at them. Um, so I'm definitely gonna look into them because again, it was pretty exciting to me. The most exciting thing that I think I saw was iTentials. Um, I guess their capability to kind of orchestrate and use different types of, um, uh, but whatever you want to use, Python, Ansible, all your different teams have these different uh, ways of interacting uh, and automating their networks and having kind of like this interface where anyone can use those and those can all bolt together in some sort of like Franken automation way. That was cool. Probably had to be Nautabot from uh, Network to Code. Uh, I've been using Netbox for a long time and it, it has some limitations that they probably weren't going to do. So it was exciting to see those guys actually take that project, fork it off and add some features that are really going to be useful for us. Um, talk about like GraphQL and things like that. That's going to be really amazing for, for lots of people. So it's good to see some real progress on that front. Just staying up to date with the latest and greatest technologies. I, I can't... <laughs> mentioned how many platforms I've heard of first here at, at Tech Field Day events, uh, whether participating or just, you know, if I need to get up to speed with something quickly, I'll Google vendor Tech Field Day. Do they have a presentation? You know, if so, I know it's going to be the best content out. So, uh, yeah, I love the content. One of the reasons I like uh, the Tech Field Day events as a delegate is I get to ask the questions live. I don't have to send them through Twitter, though it, that works, but I get to see the presentations live and in person and be able to interact with the people on the other side in real time. I was a delegate a couple of years ago. And so for me, coming back to hear some of the presenters that gave uh, their presentations a couple of years ago and seeing the evolution of their product and seeing the uh, evolution of their thought process was really interesting and, and kind of gave me some good insight into um, the, uh, these different products and these different companies and where they're they're thinking and they're planning to take themselves to. Um, but one of the things that I really liked is how they took the feedback that we'd given a couple of years ago uh, and really thought about it and incorporated it into their products and made them, you know, more useful tools. And so to be able to be in on that kind of uh, insider baseball to be able to give your feedback uh, to a company in a way that they'll listen uh, and they'll take what you do, what you say and what you do uh, back to the drawing boards and really give it some thought. Um, I, I thought it was um, one of the most valuable things about being a, a, a delegate and why I like coming back. Well, it is an honor to be chosen to be a delegate. And uh, there's very few of us, I think, that are delegates and we, have the opportunity to interact with engineers and actual people making decisions on these products that we use every day. And we may um, hear a product and maybe we think we know about it, but when you sit down in the room or sit on a Zoom call with the actual product people 
and learn the details. You really learn the product in and out. And you can give some input on what should be next, what you expect it to do, what it doesn't do, you know, things that would benefit you. But I think in general, uh, they get a benefit, but we get the benefit of being able to uh, help dictate where those go and put our, um, put our needs out there so they can fulfill those. So I think everyone wins. Um, but everyone, all the delegates, all the staff at Tech Field Day are always fantastic. It's always a great time, and I will come back every time. You've got one-to-one -one conversations with the, with the engineers at the companies. You can ask them the questions, uh, the hard questions, and you can get the right answers uh, for if this hardware or software is perfect for your infrastructure, your data center, then you can go forward from there. I think there's a couple of reasons why you'd like to be a delegate. One, the it's enjoyable to be in the presentations. But the other one is you're not going to be picked to be a delegate if you don't have some sort of audience. You need to grow your audience with a blog, a podcast, et cetera. And coming to a field day as a delegate means you're you're expected to write more. And we always need more incentive to write bigger, better, faster blog posts. So I, th I think if you'd like to grow your reach, become a delegate. I think, you know, for, for most folks, you know, anybody that wants to come out and join any Tech Field Day event, I think, you know, kind of resonating with, with a lot of what others have said, uh, you know, throughout the, the number of times that I've been involved, is if you feel, you know, you, you're kind of this, you're specifically around folks that feel like they they're at the top of their game, you know, in some area or multiple areas, um, being able to come out and actually be a part of a, a bigger group of um, people that are either A, doing a lot of things very similar, um, but differently, but you get to understand, hey, maybe I really wasn't doing things the way that I should have been doing. So you get exposed to a lot of really good people throughout the world um, that, are, that are solving similar challenges, um, but also at the same time solving different challenges and being able to correlate those things and just kind of building that, that trust within the, the, the Tech Field Day family, if you will, um, is very valuable. So I think anyone um, that, that you just feel you wanna up your game, get on board. That's all I can say. <laughs>